Hello and welcome back to another FL Studio Basics video. Today I'm showing you how to combine multiple audio clips on the playlist into one track. This is often called consolidating or comping audio or simply just merging or combining tracks. So hopefully in this video we'll learn a lot about working with audio in FL Studio. So let's take a look. I'm working inside FL Studio 20 and there's just a few things you've got to do to set this up but it's a very simple technique. Firstly select any of your audio and then go to the top left hand corner and make sure that this stretch box is not checked. You want that to be blank. This means that our audio won't be randomly resized when we come to cutting it later. So what I'm going to do first is go through these takes and pick the best parts. So the first thing I'm going to do is press C to get my cut tool. With that selected I'm just going to left click and drag which uh, creates this cut line and then I'm going to press shift which lets me move it side to side and then I'm just going to set it up in a few different places so that I'm slicing my audio up like this. If for some reason these keyboard shortcuts aren't working, it might be because you have this typing keyboard to piano keyboard symbol up here lit, so just turn that off and then your shortcut should work. And now with the pencil tool selected, you just right click to delete any of the takes that you don't want. So let's just say these are the takes that I do want. The one last thing I'm gonna do before uh, I just comp these together is I'm gonna double click on each of them and select a de-clicking mode here. So it starts on transient, but I'm gonna to go to smooth or crossfade. Now if I zoom in, what you'll see is that it's added this nice little smooth fade at the end. Now this avoids all clicks, pops, random noises. It just makes it a really smooth transition between parts. And now they nicely fade into each other. So if you listen to this transition here, it sounds like it was part of the same take. Just going to do that to the final take as well. Once you've selected your favorite parts, you don't have to drag them onto one track, but I prefer doing this. So simply control, left click, and then hold control, and then just drag them up. This means that it can't move side to side. So if I select these ones in the middle here, that's a control, left click and drag. And then I'm going to click on them, press control, and then I move them and they only move up and down. Moving side to side doesn't change them. So now that they're all on one track, what I often like to do is send them all to the same place on the mixer. So if I press F9 to pull up the mixer, you'll see that I've sent them all to 13 here, which is the guitar track. You can send them by just double clicking and then sending them to the right track here. 13, 13, 13. The most simple way to consolidate them is to simply select the track here, right click, go down to consolidate this track from track start or song start, It'll pull open this dialog box here. With this dialog box open, there's just a few things I want to make sure you've got selected. I would leave the remainder of the tail on. That's always a good thing to do. Wave bit depth, I would keep it at about 24. You can go down to 16 if you really want to, but 24 is a pretty good quality. Up your resampling quality, make sure that it's at least 64, maybe 128. And then you have the option here to enable the insert effects or enable the master effects. So you want to turn off the master effects, but you may choose to run them through the mixer effects if you want, and I'll show you the difference right now. But as it stands, just press start. It will just take just a moment to render. And now you can see if I just mute this one underneath, it's consolidated it all together into one clip. Now that's one way to do it, but I'm going to show you a few others. So if I select it on the playlist like this and make a whole selection, I can now press Control, Alt, and C, which will pull open the same dialog box. This time if I press Start, you'll see that it's consolidating that exact section on the playlist. And not only does it just consolidate that, so it's not from the track start, it's just that small section, it also mutes all the other clips underneath, so you don't need to worry about muting them or turning them off. It's effectively disabled those clips, and the outcome is the same. Wonderful. However, if I want to get these clips back, you hear that they're muted. Don't worry, all you need to do is press T, and then you can just left click, and you can get them all back like that. Now, running through effects. So I do have some beautiful effects here. I have this intensity reverb, which I'm really loving from Arturia right now, and a little bit of EQ. So let's say I wanted to run the guitar through that, see how this sounds. Wonderful. I can also choose to print this out or consolidate it with the effects. Now, if you're gonna consolidate it with reverb, make sure that you pull out the tail of the sound like this so that you can have a nice long decay 
on that reverb. And for this final technique where we're just going to achieve the same thing, I'm just going to make sure that I have the mixer pulled up, so that's pressing F9 to pull up the mixer. I've sent all the guitar to track 13 here, and you can see the effects are turned on. Now I have my mixer in the extra large mode, so yours might be wide or compact, you might not see the effects, but I've got mine in the extra large mode. This final method is the old school way of doing it, because those other methods are very new. Uh, what you do is on your track here, you select uh, this disc recording icon here, so that's just a left click, make sure that it's red. And then either you go to the top here, disc recording, render to wave file, or you simply press Alt and R and it does the same thing. And then it pulls open this smaller dialog box. I usually just put it to 24 bits, leave the remainder, and then press start. This is the way we used to have to do it. And as you can see, it has exported that up there, but it's also left all of our clips. So we may want to press T and mute all these, then unmute this clip here. And you can hear it has all of that wonderful reverb on it. That really is it for this technique. Just make sure that when you export your new WAV files, you also send them somewhere on the mixer if you want to. And I also want to say this can uh, this same technique works on MIDI as well as audio. So select your MIDI, go to the side, consolidate this track, and it will also bounce out any sort of MIDI pattern you have and consolidate that. As you can see, the MIDI's been muted but the WAV file's now been printed, which will save your CPU, but it might increase the RAM or memory requirements of your project. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and learned a little bit from it. Again, a very basic tutorial, but these are the ones that are really needed when you're fresh and new to the software. I also want to say I have a remix competition coming up with loads of amazing prizes that's going to start in just a few weeks, so make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss that, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.